tell you what, it's another bloody Sunday and uh, yeah, I had a bit of a dress up like uh, because it's a bloody Sunday and uh, to put a bit of change into it. Um, yeah, it's a carbon, yeah, the uh, French uh, armor looks. Uh, the American, co well, they got the peacoat, yeah, well, it's a peacoat, but this is the, the French version, yeah. So it's a woolly, 100% woolly, uh, very soft uh, outer uh, stuff. And uh, I've put my uh, old hiking hat on for today because it's Sunday, yeah. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show you something um, as an update. Um, but before I do that, I get myself um, comfort. Because it's all wet and a bit, uh, well it's not cold, it's 11 degree, yeah, but it's autumn and um, well I wanted to do an update on the uh, hand pocket warmer, yeah. I had a bit uh, play around with it and um, even bought some more stuff and to show you a bit a comparison, comparison on it. And uh, yeah, let's put my down, myself down. I got my uh, seat, yeah, the hunting seat, three leg seat, and uh, sitting. So I got a bit of uh, comfort here. Yeah, so <laughs> I got a little bit um, workspace here to show you. And uh, yeah, what I wanted to show you, I got a little bit of small pack today. Yeah, my woolly uh, shoulder bag, but that will do for now. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, yeah, uh, first of all, um, yeah, let's put it all out. Um, obviously, what I did show you at the last time was a hand warmer, yeah, the, uh, the red charcoal hand warmer. Yeah, and this isn't even used yet. Well, it's used, yeah. The one that may be familiar to you, but I had a bit an update on it. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you. I got this is my previous or my old ones I bought years and years ago. Yeah, so let's adapt that. So I got a couple of them. Yeah, there are two of them. And what I did actually, um, yeah, I purchased another two of the same style in green yeah I got one actually already in my pocket and it's nicely warmed up yeah so uh, this is actually uh, glowing oh, you can't see that but basically um, that's what it is yeah Got two, two of the green ones. Yeah, they blend really well in. I mean, compared to the red one, yeah, it's uh, more bushcraft suitable. Yep. Yeah. So this is the, the warm one. Uh, let's put that in here. And uh, yeah, what I wanted to show you, um, obviously, I maybe have to put it up in a bit, a bit close up. It's glowing and it's uh, steaming. But to give it a bit, uh, what I did mention last time, well, in my previous video about this uh, charcoal hand warmer, is how to operate them properly. So, um, to give it a bit of uh, a speed up, they actually, I'll show you in, in detail, they actually, there are some notches up here, yeah, and uh, that allow for air to go in there so we can gently blow into it and to give it a bit to speed up yeah that's uh, how you do that very comfortable i mean um yeah it works very well and uh well uh you get them in different well in this two different colors yeah i have seen some in blue the green one in the UK market as Highlander, yeah, so if you go into the UK 
and, and on the internet and try to find them in some hunting and auto shop. Look for the Highlander pocket warmer. Yeah, in Germany they just call them uh, Holzkohle uh, uh, hand warmer. I don't know. Um, I put some links down in the description so you find quite a lot of more information um, about the charcoal. Yeah, let's open that one. I have to show you this in detail. If I open that, you get them in different shapes. Yeah. Some of them they're wrapped up in like chew gum paper and others they're just like in a block and you break like one off. Yeah, I mean this is a two now and uh, put them into the hand warmer and then lighten them up. Yeah, so they are, it's just a different option and different maker how they um, supply this uh, charcoal sticks here. Yeah? So they're dead cheap and um, just to uh, mention what sort of full supply you are looking into. Yeah? So you get, so don't, um, well, it doesn't really matter, it's just charcoal and uh, rubbed up and uh, put in a little bag. Uh, you get black on the fingers. So, um, what I wanted to show you as a comparison, as I say, I put some links down and I don't get too much into the uh, uh, charcoal hand warmer for now, but uh, as a comparison, and that's what I consider as an update, yeah, let's say the simple charcoal, yeah, full petrol well it's clean petrol isn't it so yeah what you get is uh, not what I wanted to show you is the uh, peacock the original uh, what was it made in, in Japan the uh, Hakin warmers yeah I show you this in detail and this is the original, yeah? And uh, if you're looking for a petrol or full hand warmer, um, you may um, trip over some um, Korean made one, like the Giant or the Mini and even the Standard, yeah? They actually produce them, in, the original is made in Japan and there are some, I don't know if they are licensed or they're not really knockoffs, but I had bad experience with the Korean version because I bought um, a giant peacock at first on uh, Amazon and it uh, proved to be not really, um, uh, well, the lid didn't fit properly and the overall making wasn't like expected yeah so this is the original peacock made in japan yeah and this lid is actually fits snug yeah and while on the giant which i bought on amazon the lid actually fall off yeah so this is actually marked made in japan somewhere and um, so whenever you're looking for, just as a warning up front, yeah, before I got into it, how to operate them uh, and compare them to the, uh, I mean, look at the size difference, yeah. I mean, this is just a slim and a thicker one, but this is nicely, well, you won't slip that, while this one is more like, a piece of soap in the shower, yeah? It just slips away sometimes, especially when you got it into well, in its um, little bag, yeah? I mean, the bag got a little bit of Velcro on it, so it doesn't fall out, but it actually slipping right out, yeah? It's not like um, this one, if it's in this bag, it's just well, got a bit effort to get it out, yeah. So on the other hand, 
uh, this won't move in your pocket. Well, this one can easily s slip out, yeah? So, just as a quick comparison, um, the up and down side, yeah? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to pull that down. It's a brilliant um, piece of kit, yeah? And it's getting really, really hot. Well, this one is more a slow heater, yeah? Um, both got its advantages and uh, maybe downsides. So, uh, yeah, and you definitely, for this one, the peacock, you need a bag because it's get blimming hot, yeah? Once it's really up and going, it's bloody hot. I did show you, or maybe I'll just do it again, how to lighten the uh, this one up yeah and maybe just for convenience I'll use that one who's just um, for start yeah um, another uh, upfront information about the charcoal hunt warmer and the peacock is um, once this one is running yeah and burning you can't extinguish it yeah while this one you just uh, open it up yeah take the charcoal and just put it on a stone or somewhere and just uh, and check it and it's yeah it's not burning anymore so it's uh, you can store it away and don't waste the fill yeah this is a, oops this is another advantage I, which I think is a very neat thing compared to this one because once this one is going you waste your fill yeah and um, obviously this one costs only a fraction of this one yeah so it's basically a no-brainer but um, depending on your situation and your favorite, if you are a petrol head, go for this one. If you are a wood head, go for charcoal. Yeah, <laughs> so it's up to you. I, uh, yeah? uh, I mean, I bought actually two of them. Where's the other one? Oh, yeah. I got another one here. So, uh, yeah, I like to have this in pairs. Yeah, so a nice peacock. Yeah, look at that. There's the peacock. So, and um, just as an opening, if you take the lid off, yeah, it just pops on, takes the lid off, yeah. And uh, you can see the difference in, uh, in size of the burning chamber. And uh, yeah, the upper, upper part it's uh, got some air vents in it and uh, this is a container basically for the fill that's so you can see the uh, size comparison of the two yeah all right so what's next um yeah i did show you how to no i didn't <laughs> um all right to lighten that up just to complete the issue um starting with this one and then get on, on with the um, peacock take that one yeah and put it on the side take a match and uh, line that up Lighten your match up, make sure it's burning, and lighten that up. Yeah, it may take a bit, but you can easily check it by blowing on it so you can see the white ashes. It's actually uh, already burning, yeah. Let's 
Let's see the steam. So once this is going, you just pop it in. Here. You can actually lighten it up on the other end as well, so it's just going faster. Close it down. Give it a brief breeze in there. Not really heavy, just a little bit uh, up front, and it starts slowly. Yeah? Right, so um, to fill up this one takes a bit more effort. You got this little, it's more technical, yeah. While this one is a ditch, you just line it up and off you go. So, you get a little funnel with it, and it actually got a lock on the bottom, yeah. Um, so, this gives you the right amount for filling this one up. Yeah, so I'm going to show you that uh, how that works with the fill. Yeah, All right. <laughs> um, another thing you can take, you have to take this uh, the burner, the burner off. Yeah, you can get them as spare. Yeah, and um, this is a sort of fiber. Fiberglass uh, uh, felt, yeah. So this basically works like a carburetor, yeah. And this is just the compartment in it, and uh, filled with some uh, felt to soak up the fill, yeah. So I'm filling that up now. Just see. So what you actually have to do, put this on top. Yeah, so it's actually sitting on there. Yeah. And then I know it's a bit tricky and maybe but then you have to fill that up. Just uh, maybe not fill it up completely. Yeah. So let's see. You see the the liquid sloshing around in it, yeah. So it's actually this funnel got a valve, yeah. So by twisting that, it actually, yeah, twisting that, it actually pours into the container, yeah. Then you lock it down, take it off again, and that's it, yeah. That's how you fill that up. So then you. Put the burner, this is actually the burner on top, yeah? Take that off, maybe warm that up a bit, and you're holding that flat. To, to lighten that up, you hold that flat, yeah? So actually the, the fill evaporates through the burner, yeah? You lighten it up, and it wants to be hold it like flat, like that, yeah? And, uh, because the, uh, the burner shouldn't produce a flame, it should just glow. And it's not easy to, to spot, yeah? So I just leave it a bit like that. Get myself a match. Lighten it up. And like that, yeah? Oops, it's... A bit windy here, so you just basically lighten it up underneath. It's not easy to see, it's maybe because you shouldn't put full on the um, on the burner. It's just just evaporize yeah so just like that maybe I should have taken a gas lighter oh yeah it's I don't know you probably can't see that but it's glowing it's getting hot already yeah you can see some some glow in it yeah so once this is going, you can lock the lid, and yeah, it's getting hot already. 
Yeah. So well, this one, it's already gone off again. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's glowing. So it takes a bit longer. Well, this one is actually already getting hot. Yeah, can feel that. And um, so, yeah, as I say, this one, um, you can't extinguish it. Yeah, while you can put this one off. Yeah, I'll just drop it off. And um, as I say, this is getting hot really fast. And uh, to protect yourself from burning, you really need zip supplied bag for it. Yeah, and put it in the bag. Put the, close the velcro down, and there you go. And then you put it in your pocket. I'll put it this in here. Yeah, so. Right, that's it, basically. Yeah, so as I say, you need a bit more attention if you buy the, uh, or if you fancy the uh, peacock. Yeah, have a look, it's the ha Hakin, the original Japanese uh, burner, actually produced since, uh, what was it, 1932 or something. Yeah, and um, it's very old. Um, uh, Invention, yeah, basically just as an um, uh, alternative to the charcoal uh, hand warmer, yeah. If you but be warned, for the price of one of them, you get three, three of this one, yeah, including the charcoal, yeah. So this is, uh, I mean, you have to look out. In winter time, there are some uh, shops they sell them off for Christmas, and I put some links down. I got some links from the, for the UK. There's a UK shop, eBay, Amazon, and a German shop. So uh, have a look out in the description below. Yeah, put have a look at the slideshow with the pictures. Yeah, and I put a little bit of description in the, in the voiceover description to it. And uh, as a recommendation, a personal recommendation for myself, um, what to look out for and uh, what to avoid. Because this one comes as an original and the uh, Japanese made and the um, Korean made one and uh, they got a different packing. Yeah, that's the easiest way to spot. And the bag got a different label. On it too. I uh, removed the labels because I, I'm not a label guy, so <laughs> um, I just put that off. And uh, but um, it's basically well, it looks very similar. Just got a little sticker on it, yeah. And uh, but the original one fits snug on a lid, yeah. While the uh, other one is just falling off. And I didn't find out a way of uh, making that uh, work properly on a giant. I mean, the, um, the standard one, this is the standard one. It's actually um, a decent size, so there is not really a need for having a really big one. I mean, if you imagine this going for, oh, I have to look it up. I, I, I can't um, remember the time. I mean, it's a pretty long time, about six or eight hours, or maybe even 12 hours for one filling. Yeah, so it's a pretty long time, this one going. Uh, well, this one is probably on one rod, yeah, one charcoal rod is gone on uh, about six, six hours, yeah. Maybe you get out eight, six, yeah, eight hours out of it. But um, depending on how you lighten it up on, a, on both ends or break it down and lighten it up on four ends, yeah, you can do that with this one. While this one is a bit more limited on the fill supply, yeah, and uh, you can't refill it in between, yeah, because it's just too hot. So you only got this one as a filling, yeah, compared to exchangeable charcoal 
block. Yeah. And uh, well, it's basically the pro and con uh, for this sort of two different um, uh, hand warmers. Yeah, the pocket warmer. I mean, they're base. These two are basically the same. Just the color is different. Yeah. And while this one is, is well, I think it's. Well, I don't know if it's stainless steel, but it's uh, definitely plated. And uh, I think it's stainless steel. And uh, yeah, this is uh, cheaper. You get three of them for the price of one of them. Yeah. So um, uh, basically, if you're on a budget, go for this one. And if you really want a fancy one, get one of these. Yeah. Right. Um, that's for today. See you next time. And I hope this helps you to get a little bit uh, upfront Christmas gift, maybe, yeah? Or get your wife for getting one of this, or get yourself a handful of this, yeah? Um, yeah, as I say, check out the links below. Um, and the slideshow, have a closer look to the slideshow. Basically, there are the screenshots of the web pages I put down in the links in the description, yeah? Um, so, yeah. So the first uh, picture actually uh, is uh, from eBay. It's actually where you get this uh, charcoal um, hand warmer. It's a single one. As you can see, it's uh, 10, uh, 10 pound 40 cents and including uh, 12 sticks uh, of the charcoal. So, um, yeah. And uh, if you want to really want to have two of them, you probably get, yeah, you get them as a discount, as a set with the uh, uh, equivalent uh, of uh, charcoal with it, even on um, eBay. So I put this link down from this um, uh, the seller in the UK. The third one, the red picture, is um, the uh, German company, Globetrotter, where you get them, and they're equal cheap. Yeah, and um, the next two pictures, the one is, well, it's actually the original Japanese manufacturer. Um, what is his name? Um, uh, Hakukin. Hakuku? Hakukin. Hakukin. Right, and uh, the large picture actually um, shows the, uh, yeah, the first picture shows the original La well, standard uh, peacock hand warmer, the full uh, hand warmer. The second one is picture, it's showing all three of them. And it's uh, the standard one, the, um, uh, the uh, large one, the giant one, and the mini. Yeah? And uh, below the two little thingies, it's actually the spare parts where you can where they show the um, the burner as well. So just to give you an impression on how the uh, original wrapping, packing should supposed to look like when you go into the shop, yeah, or order them online because there are some um, uh, knockoffs uh, around, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the uh, next two pictures is to give you an, um, an idea on uh, how the um, peacock uh, hand warmer is sold on uh, Amazon. And actually this tool, is, well, the next two pictures, yeah, it's uh, the first one with the red um, uh, packing and a label, on the red label on the, uh, um, on the sleeve thingy. Um, they are actually this is a giant one, and this is the one I bought first and uh, turned out uh, to be a Korean one. Yeah, so that's why I say you can easily spot the difference between the original and Japanese one and the Korean version on the wrapping and the label on the uh, uh, on the little bag. Yeah, and um, it turned out that the uh, lid didn't fit properly, well, it actually just fall off, yeah? And uh, as I say, the first picture is, is the red one, the second one is the giant one, and the blue wrapping, you know, with the blue uh, strip on the white packing, this is the standard one. I haven't tried that one, 
but um, it's supposed to be the uh, let's say the export version both well the, the ones that are sold on amazon be careful with them just as a recommendation because i had a bit an issue with a giant one i don't know returned it and uh, got my money back so then after that i uh, bought the original one and um, yep Right, so the next uh, three pictures, they show they're actually sold by a UK company called, uh, how I get it right, Siren uh, Chester Christmas Trees. Yeah, it's a funny name for a company, but uh, supposed to be quite known in the UK. Actually, they uh, selling, obviously, the original Peacock uh, units, yeah. Um, so um, they're probably contracted or whatever, uh, but um, yeah, um, well, they, they got the black packet package instead of the yellow one um, for the standard version, but um, I suppose they are both the same. And um, anyway, the um, red packing is a giant one. Yeah, and you already can see the price difference. And the pinky purple one is a mini version. And uh, yeah, you get them in the UK mail order. And uh, the links are below. And um, well, the last picture is actually uh, the standard one. Uh, sold in Germany by Globetrotter, that's the company where I had the spouse uh, from the uh, selling then the original one in the yellow package. So that's the one you can see in the video. And I'm quite happy with that one. So Bloody Sunday, early in the morning. I actually had a bit work up front to get these links made up. Yeah. And uh, well, See you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Keep warm. Yep. <laughs>